Did you know that the remains of real giants are found on Earth every now and then? Two-meter-long people and six-meter-long giants, beside which we seem tiny, are indeed found on our planet. Perhaps these very giants created objects that now claim to be the most bizarre giant finds of recent decades. What am I talking about? You'll find out soon enough because in this episode, I'll show you the most amazing giant finds that even scientists can't explain. You haven't seen anything like this yet. Let's go! Huge Footprints Many people believe that in ancient times our planet was inhabited by real giants, people whose height is amazing even now. A find discovered a few years ago in China may confirm these assumptions. I'm talking about huge footprints which were found in 2016 in Guizhou province near the city of Pinyang. The strange footprints are well imprinted on the stones. They resemble human feet in shape, but they're at least twice as big. A total of two footprints were found. One was slightly smudged and the second clearly showed a huge foot. The footprints are more than 60 centimeters long. Scientists speculate that the giant who left them might have been five to six meters tall. But is this possible? Some theorists believe it is. According to them, the giant walked on clay soil in which his footprints were imprinted and then were dried by the sun, and after many years, the soil turned into solid rock. After discovering this find, scientists set out to investigate. They tried to determine the origin of the giant marks on the ancient stone, but they could not explain how and where the huge fossilized footprints came from. They have no answers to this day. Cemetery Maybe another find discovered in China can explain those footprints. In 2016, in the east of the country, in the village of Gaojia in Shandong province, scientists stumbled upon an unusual burial site which was 5,000 years old. The reason it was unusual was because they found the remains of giants in it. Unfortunately, I'm not talking about 5-meter or 6-meter giants. Nevertheless, it's still interesting because they found the skeletons of people who were about 190 centimeters tall. This is a big height even in our time. What to say about the period in which was five millennia ago? By comparison, in those days, the height of the native Chinese was only about 155 to 165 centimeters. That's like stumbling across a fresh cemetery now with the skeletons of 210 to 220 centimeter tall people. Aren't they giants? In general, the Chinese find is interesting, not even by the fact that scientists discovered giants, but by the fact that, according to scientists, they lived together with people of normal height. But how is this possible? Why one group of people was very tall and the other was not, even though they lived side by side? Could it be that this burial site is just one of the few cemeteries of giants scattered throughout China? It seems quite possible to me. I would not be surprised if scientists soon stumbled upon another burial site in China with even larger skeletons. Ain Dara Giant finds have been found in other places, such as in the Middle East. Syria is known as a place where wars have been going on for a long time. But in addition to the conflicts and ruins left behind by the battles, Syria is also known for its amazing ancient sites. One of them is the Ain Dara Temple. It's the oldest temple on the territory of modern Syria. Moreover, the temple is interesting because of a couple of giant footprints at the entrance to the temple. They're about one meter long and face the inside of the temple. The distance between the two single footprints is about nine meters. According to scientists' calculations, a step of nine meters long could belong to a creature which was 20 meters tall. But who was this creature? Maybe it was a giant of an unknown ancient civilization. Although it sounds strange, but such an assumption should not be excluded completely because the giant footprints at the Ain Dara temple are still an unsolved mystery. The debate as to who these footprints might have belonged to has not ceased to this day. Do you have your own suggestions? Who do you think left these huge footprints? Write your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned because farther in this episode, there are many more interesting giant finds which science still can't explain. Let's move on. Skull In 2007, a team of Danish workers who were replacing a pipeline on the island of Zealand discovered a find that scared them. They found a skull under a building that had once belonged to a butcher. At first, they thought the skull belonged to a horse. After calming down, they changed their version and assumed that the skull belonged to some human. However, the scientist to whom the find was given stated that this was impossible because the skull was too large to belong to a man. 
In addition, the scientists stated that the skull did not belong to any known animal species and that it was about 800 years old. They didn't say anything else. Strange, yeah. right? But what's even stranger is that the skull was found in a pipeline that was only installed about 100 years ago. When news of the find reached internet users, they conducted their own investigation and discovered that the Danish island of Zealand has once been home to the followers of the Order of Pegasus Light. It's believed that the task of the followers of the order was to protect and preserve the remains of aliens. Seems crazy, but the giant skull does look like an alien skull. An unknown artist even studied the skull and modeled a creature it might belong to. The result is a creature that looks surprisingly like an alien or golem. Here we go again with China. It was amazing how many different strange finds have been discovered in this country. One of them was a dragon. Yeah, that's right, a dragon. In 2017, residents of northern China found an 18-meter-long unusual ancient skeleton which they believe could only belong to a dragon. The mysterious bones were found by villagers near the urban area of Zhangjiakou. They shot the bones and posted the pictures on social media. It can be seen that the skeleton is a skull, two small legs, and a long tail, and resembles a dragon. Many users of social networks noticed that the remains may belong to a mythical creature, which apparently is not so mythical. Many noticed that the remains resemble creatures from the Game of Thrones TV series. As for the scientists, they were never able to explain the find. Archaeologists did not confirm the discovery, but they did not make any denials either. Perhaps they considered the find a fake and didn't want to waste their time on it. Or maybe they're just not ready to admit that there were dragons on Earth in ancient times, which later became the characters of folklore. Strange Balls Bosnia and Herzegovina are not the richest country in terms of finds, but it was here a few years ago that spheres were found that now claim to be the strangest giant finds of recent decades. I'm talking about huge spheres. Most of these spheres were found in the town of Zavidovici. There was found a huge sphere of regular round shape. Archaeologists and other scientists still study this find to this day. It's believed that the sphere is more than 15,000 years old. It's estimated to be about 3 meters in diameter and weighing 37 tons. Scientists cannot give a concrete answer about what exactly is this and other spheres found in Bosnia. Their versions are confused. But Bosnian amateur archaeologist Samir Osmanajic believes he knows all the answers. He's convinced that the huge ball in Zavidovici, as well as other Bosnian spheres, is the handiwork of the ancient civilization which lived on the territory of modern Bosnia and Herzegovina in ancient times. After examining the find, he concluded that the sphere in Zavidovici consists of basalt, quartz, iron oxides, and mirror stone. In Osmanagic's opinion, this means that the sphere is of artificial origin, but is it really so? Is it true that thousands of years ago there was an advanced civilization on Earth that was capable of creating such giant objects? This is not known for certain. But if Osmanagic's theory is confirmed, it will be very, very interesting. Thai Giant Back to the Giants China and Syria are not the only countries where the remains or footprints of giants can be found. Thailand also boasts these amazing finds. The skeleton of a huge man was found in 2017 inside the Khao Kanap Nam cave, which is located on the Thai island of Krabi. A human skeleton of enormous size is by far one of the most sensational and most important discoveries ever made by paleontologists. And no wonder, the gigantic find is simply astounding. You can see from the footage that this is no fake. People are walking around near the giant, and you can see a whole bunch of pictures of the giant on the internet. In one of the pictures, there is a 167-centimeter tall girl standing next to the giant. Just imagine how huge this giant really is. But who was he and why has he only been found now? And most importantly, does this find tell us that such giants used to walk everywhere on Earth? Scientists cannot find answers to this question, but I think it's quite possible. Too many remains of giants have been found in different parts of the planet in recent years. That's all, guys. Which find from this episode impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.